All right. Meanwhile, India's real estate market has been in a slum for the last four years. But even by those standards, the first half of 2017 could be considered as a bloodbath. Data from real estate consultancy firm Knight Frank India shows sales across the country are at a five-year low. CNBC TV 18's Kevin Lee Jutsanit bring us the details. Construction bans, changes to circle rates, uncertainty due to real estate regulatory authority, delayed launches, and of course, demonetization. The real estate market in India has had to deal with multiple headwinds, and the resulting picture is not pretty. The combination of demonetization and the introduction of a real estate regulator having a devastating impact on Indian real estate, according to Knight Frank. Speaking about the northern and western markets, um, in Mumbai, launches are down more than they were 10 years ago. Delhi also seeing a 70% drop in launches year on year. Pune, the most sustainable market, actually seeing an increase in sales, whereas all other markets in India have seen a downtick in both launches and sales. Launches, we have seen drastic falls. In, in all the cities, Mumbai metropolitan region, Pune, national capital region, everywhere. Mm. So the simple reason is launches were on a declining trend already. Now, RERA, what is happening, it's definitely the developers are now giving highest priority to become RERA compliant. So, so what is happening is they're more into it and it's a big task uh, doing that because they have to get their projects, all projects registered. Plus, they, are also, they have also tried to complete the under construction projects. So the construction pace also increased. The national capital region is by far the worst hit. Sales fell 25% and estimates suggest clearing existing inventory could take over four years. In Mumbai, sales were down 8% and Pune was the only market which held up, clocking an 11% increase from a year ago. The southern market has had its own share of troubles. The southern residential markets have been given a mixed bag of fortunes this year. While Bengaluru and Hyderabad have both recorded a significant drop in launches, Chennai has displayed signs of a market in recovery with the tiniest of spikes in launches and sales. So while Bengaluru recorded a 19% fall in sales, Hyderabad managed a marginal improvement with sales rising 2.6% over last year's numbers. Chennai, however, beat both its neighbours recording not only a 4.7 rise in sales, but a small increase in new launches as well. This has developers betting on affordable housing to pull them out of the rut. Knight Frank India's data shows that 71% of the new launches in the first half of 2017 were priced at under 50 lakh rupees. Affordable housing is the flavour of the season because there is a humongous demand. Across the country, there is humongous demand for affordable housing. We did not cater to this segment in the past years. I think um, now with all the SOPs, the central government push coming in, I think developers are also venturing into this market. Affordable housing notwithstanding, the road to recovery for India's residential market is still a long one. The triple effect of demonetization, RERA and GST will take at least a year to settle down. Till then, it remains a buyer's market with enough room to negotiate a good deal. With Kevin Lee in Mumbai, in Chennai, Jude Sanath.